Hello everyone, happy Sunday evening. Um, I am here with another psalm blog to read for you. Um, this is from Psalm 4 verse 6 and it is entitled Goodness and Light. And uh, the synopsis for this one is in the dark places God is what's good and his light illuminates the shadows. Psalm 4 6 says many are asking who can show us any good? Let the light of your face shine upon us, Lord. I'm thinking over the progression of the previous verses. I'm calling out to God in my distress, verse 1. I'm remembering his faithfulness, verse 2. I'm looking to him as my true source of comfort, verse 3. I'm resting in him, sitting with him in silence, listening for his voice, verse 4. I'm sacrificing my dead things in hard places, offering up praise and thanksgiving in spite of the difficulties in me and surrounding me, verse 5. When I think about David saying, many are asking who can show us any good, it makes me wonder, is it really many or is it just David? For me, when I'm looking at all of the dead things and hard places and dark corners of my life, I can sometimes get stuck there. All I can see are my failures, my mistakes, frustrations, disappointments, unmet expectations from myself, other people, and God. I find myself asking, where is the good in this? What is good within me? Am I doing anything right? It's usually about that time that God reminds me that he is always working everything together for the good of those who love him. Romans 8.28 Not only that, but also that he is good and his goodness is at work in my life. The last part of this verse, let the light of your face shine upon us, Lord. To me, this has a double meaning. Anytime I, wor I read the word light in the Bible, it gives me a visual image of God shining a huge holy flashlight down onto all of my dark, dusty shadows. Shadows lose the power to scare us or intimidate us when we flick on a light. When I think about God shining his light on me, it leaves no room for darkness in me. The second part of this is when I think about a loving father looking down on his child, face beaming with joy and pride. His eyes light up with love and acceptance. That is how God looks on us. He doesn't think about what a mess we are or how we're always screwing up. His face lights up and he looks on us with joy, pride, love, and acceptance. That's a very great place to start if you're like me, getting stuck in the dark places and looking for something good in your life. So that is my blog on Psalm 4, verse 6. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than the other blogs that I've been sharing this week. Um, and also, I think it is a good reminder um, of where our focus needs to be right now, um, which is um, God is good, and he um, is always shining the light um, if we are willing to look for it. And um, I really hope and pray that there's something in here that has been encouraging to you. Um, if you are in a dark place, um, as I shared in yesterday's video, I was really struggling yesterday with my attitude and just um, feeling tired and frustrated and um, today has been a better day, um, but I'm also looking for um, things to be grateful for and I'm really grateful for uh, God's grace and all of the second chances that, that he gives me, that every day is a new opportunity. And many times throughout the day, it's a new opportunity to just start over and have a fresh start. And um, as many of us know, the Bible says that God's mercies are new every, every morning. And um, so that is definitely one thing that I'm, I'm very grateful for, is that every morning I can say, Yesterday's done. Today's a new day. 
and um, just like I wrote here in this blog that God doesn't look at me and say well you blew it yesterday because you had a horrible attitude and you weren't trusting me so what are we doing about today he doesn't do that um, he loves us and he accepts us no matter what we do no matter how we act um, and so I'm really hoping and praying that um, today's blog has been an encouragement um, to anyone who is struggling um, especially if you're if you feel like you're in a dark place um, just knowing that there is light to be found um, if we're willing to look for it and so I will be back tomorrow um, to read there are two more blogs in the Psalm 4 um, there's verse 7 and verse 8 and then um, and then I'll be done with Psalm 4 but I will be back tomorrow with the Psalm 4 verse 7 blog and I hope everyone has a good rest of their Sunday for the couple hours that are left and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.